Withdrawn and expired status often get confused as the same, so let's talk about the difference between the two statuses. Withdrawn status indicates that while there is still an active listing agreement between the seller and the listing agent, the property is temporarily off the market and days in MLS will pause. This typically happens when a homeowner needs some extra time to get things in order, such as home improvements before showings begin. Agents still have access to edit withdrawn listings. One thing to remember, because the listing agent still has an active agreement with the seller, it is against RE Colorado rules for another agent to contact the seller in attempt to gain them as a client. Now let's talk about expired status, which you may know is canceled. An expired listing indicates the listing contract has either reached the termination date or has been terminated by a mutual agreement between the seller and listing agent. Agents no longer have access to edit expired listings and marketing should stop. A few things to remember with expired listings. Homeowners will be susceptible to calls from other agents who solicit expired listings. If your listing moves to an expired status, it is important to give your sellers a heads up so they know what to expect. If you and the sellers plan on relisting the property in the future, know that in order to relist an expired property, it must be under a newly executed listing agreement and be in an expired status for 30 or more days. With both withdrawn and expired listings, a recent change banner will be displayed under the property photo for 15 days after the status is updated.